On the first homepage, you can find the information on how and why Pseudopass was built. You can read the guide about Pseudopass and the two techco technology that was used behind the Pseudopass, such as DIDs, uh, decentralized identifiers, and the verifiable credentials, VCs. So once you re read through uh, the information about Pseudopass, let's go straight into the using of the Pseudopass. You can sign in with your San Jose State ID only. If you try to log in using uh, other Gmail IDs not associated with San Jose State University, you won't be able to use our service. So once you log in with the pseudopass, it will take you to a page where you enter SSU ID. And once you enter the SSU ID, it will take you to this dashboard where you see the profile of your uh, pseudopass. You can see the name, a DID, a decentralized identifier string for to identify you on the blockchain, and a SSU ID yeah, that you input it. Now you generate the verifiable credential pass, a pseudopass, and view pass. You can see a more presentable form of uh, decentralized identifi identification card that you can present it to the people around you. So wherever you go that requires San Jose State University identification card, you will be able to use this. Thank you so much for listening. It was the pseudo pass demo.